The duchess and the jeweler involve the human urge for materialistic things. The plot involves two characters who are greedy. They try their best to deceive others by expressing their selfishness. In this video, I am going to share summary of this short story. You can subscribe my channel for more reviews. The Duchess and the Jeweler Summary. You will get an overlook of moral corruption and social behavior after reading this story. I am just covering the summary in a simple way for readers. The plot starts with the introduction of Oliver Bacon. He is a jeweler who earned fame after years. Once, he was a poor guy but then started selling dogs to fashionable ladies. He also sold watches at higher rates. This mindset helped him get a house in the rich area. He lived in the best area of England in the story. The author presented him as a greedy man. He is morally corrupt. He always wants to earn money and get things that profit him. One day, a duchess visited his office. After waiting, she met Oliver. She was the same as Oliver. She was also morally corrupt. She wanted to sell some pearls to Oliver. She told him that she had lost some money in gambling. She is selling pearls to cover the loss. Oliver was a cunning and intellectual jeweler. He went to check the accuracy of the pearls. As he was doing so, the Duchess changed the topic. She manipulated and diverted Oliver from testing pearls. She told him that she was going to arrange a party for big celebrities this weekend. Further, you are also invited there. You can enjoy the day with Diana. She was Duchess' daughter and Oliver loved her. This thing manipulated Oliver. He signed the $20K check and handled it to Duchess. After Duchess left, Oliver went to test the pearls. He found out that Duchess pranked him with fake pearls. He cursed his greedy nature and said sorry for his mother's painting. Analysis. Through this literary story, Virginia Woolf elucidated the selfish and greedy nature of humans. The Duchess was morally dishonest. She cheated the jeweler by selling him fake pearls. Further, Oliver was also the same. He thought that he would get exposure to rich people at parties. This would fasten his path in politics. His selfish nature cost him. In nutshell, Duchess and the Jeweler by Virginia Woolf involves the encounter of a jeweler with the Duchess. They both were morally corrupt and greedy. She sold fake pearls to Oliver. He was easily manipulated.